Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's really important <laughs> that when we pass these federal laws, yes, that we enforce them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in some in some places of the United States, they seem to think it doesn't matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now these prisons, yeah, <laughs> um, we have lots of them. Ouch. And uh, if we need some more, I can build some more for you. Yes. Now, I know mm -hmm. if you're in law enforcement, you don't like the slamming of that steel door every hour. Yes. It does get irritating when you're trying to sleep. <laughs> so I thought I would design America's quietest prisons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I make them all out of recycled garbage. Yes. Since we have so much of it. Mm-hmm. I'd heat the garbage up to approximately 2,500 degrees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I use a steam autoclave to accomplish that. Yes. I'd slurry it. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'd, I'd pressurize the garbage so as it's about, um, well, four inches thick. Yes. And then I kind of, um, well, I use a hot iron and I put it together. Yes. Uh -huh. And it's quiet. Mm -hmm. It's made out of plastic. There's no need for any electricity in any of my my prisons. Yeah. I know you're concerned about the heating, but it's very well insulated. Mm -hmm. And I give you plenty of extra blankets because I have a lot of blankets available. Yes. So we don't have to turn the heat on in the prison. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can have all the extra blankets you want, but we don't use electricity in my prisons. <laughs> Now, for those that have been amping themselves in the law enforcement right now, mm -hmm. see, um, words or agency of the United States were sub uh, substituted for or of the government as to eliminate uh -huh. any possible ambiguity mm -hmm. as to the scope of this section. Yes. Now, we have some congressional journals, and I'm sure that's important to those in Congress. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then clerk of the House of Representatives received evidence of the same effect as the original would have. Yes. Copies of the officer's bond. Pooh. Any person to whose custody the bond of any other officer. Yes. Historical revision notes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. State and territorial statutes and judicial proceedings, full faith and credit. Yes. The acts of the legislature of any state, territory, or possession of the United States or. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see here. Uh-huh. Copies thereof shall be authenticated by affixing mm -hmm. the seal of such state territory possession thereto. Yes. Now, the records mm -hmm. and judicial proceedings of any court of any state, territory, or possession, or copies thereof, yeah, shall be proved or admitted in other courts. That would be federal courts, too. Yeah. Uh, within the United States and its territories and possessions by the attestation mm -hmm. of the clerk and the seal of the court annexed, <laughs> if a seal exists, mm. together with the certificate of a judge of the court that the said attestation is in proper form. Mm -hmm. Now, I probably sent a screen print of that forgery of the ex officio superior court clerk, yeah, about a million times. Yes. And he thought, well... Uh, we just have to enforce it. Yeah, we can't remove it. Mm -mm. But since it's admissible in every court of the United States, mm -hmm. um, the signature has to be the signature of the actual employee known as the clerk. Yes. And the seal of the court that is annexed to it. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. uh, it has to be used by only those that are employees of the court. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, Brent Baisden, yes, I've asked you to remove your fraud, too, oh, and now I'm suing you right now for using the authority of the United States mm -hmm. to issue a court order where the forgery of the ex officio superior court clerk, yes, is not the employee of the court. Mm -hmm. Now, since it has to be admitted, yes, mm-hmm. Uh, a copy shall be proved or admitted in other courts within the United States. Yes. Could you get me every federal court of the United States? Yes. That if there was a question, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be criminal on my part. Mm -hmm. Let's say I submitted it to a federal court. And I said, Your Honor, I'd like to sue you for allowing me to submit this to the court. Yes. As an enforceable court order. Yes. Now, for every judge that admits it, yes, 
as uh, enforceable? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can sue them all. Right now! Now, I'm not talking about it being evidence. No. See, I would think that each state court, um, they have their district courts. Yes. Their appellate courts. Right. And their Supreme Courts. Yes. But then the federal government has their district courts. Yeah, they do. Uh-huh. And then they have their courts of special jurisdiction. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then they have that Supreme Court. Yes. Now, instead of using as evidence, yes, I take it to the United States Supreme Court. Yes. And I give it to Ginsburg. Right now. And I say, Ginsburg, yes, I want you to enforce this court order. Mm. Now, any judge that has any knowledge of me violating it, yes, has an obligation to inform law enforcement, yes, of me violating it. Ooh. So I ask my five sons to appear in court with me at the Supreme Court. Yes, I give it to the Supreme Court justices of the United States. Mm -hmm. And then I say, you know what it says? Yes, it has restraint provisions that I may not contact the five minors named. Yes, but as soon as I hand it to Ginsburg, mm -hmm. I say Supreme Court Justice Ginsburg, ooch. You see those five minors named right over there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somehow they found out I was going to be in court at the same day. Oh! Now I want you to watch what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Zachary! <clears throat> the United States Supreme Court would have to arrest Mr. Budnick for calling. 